Why would anyone want to be a follower of Jesus? The call, come follow me, is always a risk. There is the risk of disappointment, fear of the unfamiliar, and the loss of dreams. The call usually does not come in the way we would choose. It comes in an unexpected time in our life. It comes at a time when there are unexpected plans for our lives. And like the call of James and John and Peter, it comes to the life of real people. Real people like you and me. But in that call, if we listen carefully to the gospel today, someone is left behind. Something is left unfinished. And there is always somewhere else to go. The call, come follow me, always has a price connected to it. James, John, Andrew and his brother received the call. They left behind their father Zebedee. They left their boat. They left their livelihood. They left everything that was safe, everything that was familiar. Three years ago, our bishop on Holy Thursday at the Chrism Mass reminded us that the reconfiguration of the diocese and our parishes would begin. And I remember very clearly in that statement, he said and looked at us and reminded us that nothing would remain the same. <clears throat> that call in reality and in faith would require us living the Paschal mystery. That means that we would live that dying and rising of Christ because we have been united into Christ as God's people. We can't avoid that dying and rising. We can't avoid that Paschal character of our life. We can't avoid the Good Friday and the Easter. The reconfiguration study began, recommendations were made, some mergers were completed, but in reality so much of it was theoretical and it was on paper. It did not directly touch the lives of our people in concrete ways. Everyday life kind of continued as normal. Now for us, as Christ the Servant Parish, come follow me, takes on a more concrete reality. There is risk. I know there will be fear. I know that there is loss and it comes at an unexpected time. A part of our lives will be left behind what was safe and what was familiar will be no more. This past week, the Finance and Pastoral Council of Christ the Servant Parish has made the unanimous recommendation that in the reconfiguration of our community, we begin the transition to only one worship site. That worship site would be Our Lady of Peace. This transition would begin immediately coming to a conclusion by Holy Week. I have supported this reconfiguration since first announced and will continue to support it. I understand the challenges that are set before us, yet I believe that knowing our community, I trust that God is doing something with us that is noble, will lead us to a new life, and that the call as it comes to us in our time and history as a community 
is now before us. With all of these changes, I also have these thoughts which I share with you. If I had the power to bring peace to the world, I would do it. If I had the power to bring back industry to the northeastern Ohio area, I would do it. If I had the power to bring back United Engineering down in the Northeast End where my grandfather was a mill superintendent, I would do it. If I had the power to bring back the commitment and dedication to Catholic education as it was in the 50s and the 60s, believe me, I would do it. If I had the power to influence families and support a vocation to the priesthood and religious life like years ago, I would do it. And if I had the power to turn back time and only be 35 years old and know what I know today, I would do it. I pray for the people of St. Paul's Parish community. I pray for the people of Our Lady of Peace Church community, but I pray together that Christ the Servant Parish will grow strong and be strong and faithful in all that we are and all that we are called to be. God bless you. Amen.